March the 27th, 2018, at approximately 5 o'clock. Uh, I want to ask our county clerk, Bess Ralph, to give us a prayer and a pledge to the flag. Lord, well, we just come to you with humble hearts. Lord, we just ask you as, uh, to begin this meeting to be with us. Lord, we just ask you to uh, keep us, remind us of, of our purpose here, that we're here to serve you, Lord. And that, um, that all the good things come to me, Lord. We just give you the praise and the glory for the opportunity to serve you. And, Lord, we just love you and we just thank you uh, for uh, our county. Uh, proud of our county, Lord, that um, in places all here just to serve our uh, public and our citizens. And uh, hope as they watch us, Lord, that they can see Jesus in us. Um, we just thank you from the bottom of our hearts for all the good things that you give us. And forgive us for we fail. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Bess. <coughs> uh, you have the... Uh, the minutes for the March 13th meeting. Uh, need a motion to approve those. So moved. Motion by Sam Small. Second. Second by Joe Barnes. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Uh, we're going. I need those checks. We'll go ahead and let, uh, right, I will do that right after Marty speaks. Let Marty talk and then we'll go to the to that. Still have bills and claims. Okay, I'm sorry. Have to do that before we can do this. I got carried away. You're right. Before you have the bills and claims, payments and transfers, I need a motion to approve. I'm sorry about that. I'll make a motion. Motion by Jason Bullock. Second. Second by Sam Small. And that includes the late list. That includes the late list. Can, yeah, Justin's going to write that down for her. Light list, and I guess light transfer, is that? Yeah, there's a light transfer. Light, light list and light transfer list. Mm -hmm. <sighs> what are we transferring? He motioned by Jason and then Sam. Yeah. I don't take care of <laughs> are you, you're trying to pull She our quarter today. <laughs> Justin, I report. Well, are there any uh, any uh, discussion? <laughs> what? Well, are you just doing it? <laughs> no, I'm, I forget the bills. It's not going to be what you want. I don't know. Okay. Uh, it's legal, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, uh, <laughs> are you go ahead and do a roll call? I have no here, no discussion. Bills, claims, payments, Justin, and yes, Cam, yes, Morphew, yes, Small, yes, Bullock, yes, Barnes, yes. Okay, Marty, thank you, Judge. I'd like to thank the members of the for the opportunity to speak this evening. One year ago at the Ohio County Airport. There wasn't a whole lot going on uh, from my club to the parking lot. Just a couple of weeks going across the parking lot. Might not be anybody there. No airplanes, nothing. But a year later, on any given day, we have an average of 17 aircraft there. We have 10 rental hangars that are currently full. We have a, a waiting list of seven people that have been banging on our door for a while to base their airplanes there. These things are, have been good for us. Our new uh, fixed base operator, David Woolsey, the owner of Leading Edge Aircraft Services, LLC, has been providing airframe and power plant services for us and also aircraft inspections. And as a result of this, the airport board has been able to sell more fuel and we've been able to uh, see increased rental revenue from this. So this has helped us out a lot too. And we've experienced a lot of increased traffic. We have a lot of traffic coming in and going out of the airport now. 
people in the area have been commenting on it. Frankly, I'd like to get to the point where we have noise complaints, but I know that everybody wouldn't want that. July 14, 2017, we suspected a problem with our jet fuel tank. After it was investigated, the state decommissioned the said tank on October 2, 2017, due to deficiencies and corrosion. We could no longer sell jet fuel. We were afraid if there was an accident out of this tank that not only would the airport be on the hook, but it would have been all the Wild County. We didn't want that, so we decommissioned the sales of it. In 2019, we've been slated to receive $300,000 for a new jet fuel tank. So we were looking for that in January. Our upcoming projects in uh, 2019 is we're also going to be funded for 10 new tea hangers, which will bring our total to 20. And I'm pretty sure that we can fill those tomorrow because the airport has really taken off and uh, word travels fast in the aviation community and a lot of people have, uh, we sparked a lot of interest in it lately. We've also been available to uh, various agencies. We took FEMA up the other day to survey the flood damage and, and we want Ohio County law enforcement to know and, and we've offered on several occasions and we've had planes standing by during the bank robbery a couple of weeks ago. We had a couple of planes standing by uh, to take up to assist in the search. And there was also a child that was missing in Beaverdown probably about a month ago and we were standing by for that too. We haven't been, but we're ready and willing to help Ohio, Ohio County any way that we can. <laughs> We've been involved with several charities, Pilots and Paws at the Ohio County Animal Shelter who, uh, who's been uh, flying animals out that, that need to be adopted. We've also been involved with an organization called Angel Flights that transfers cancer patients. But most of all, we've been trying to promote Ohio County through our airport. Often it's the first point of contact. We've had CEOs, we've had farmers, we've had doctors, we've had regular people, man. And we try to greet everybody. We, we try to give them red carpet service. We try to extend a little hospitality to Ohio County. I, I've had people come in that just had nowhere to stay. We, we take them to the first house. Uh, they've gone to Capers. So this has happened several times. We have people that fly in from Louisville to buy fuel from us and eat the hundred dollar hamburger at Capers, proverbially. So yeah. it's uh, we've been trying to pro you know promote our local businesses that way. And we're excited about the future. Also, we have several companies that have expressed interest in in basing their operations at the Ohio County Airport. We're excited about that because we're hoping that that can bring a few jobs, possibly. <laughs> and uh, you know we're fortunate to have a, a facility this night. At, just nice in the rural community. But I'm not here to ask for anything this evening. I'm here to return a portion of the money that was loaned to us a year ago by the fiscal court. And I'd like to thank you and I'd like to invite each and every one of you to come out and visit us sometime. Yes, if you have it. You want me to open it and read it? It's up to you, Judge. Okay. Uh, I believe I will. All right. Because it's, a, it's getting us a... Uh, uh, do y'all remember that? Where we had to advance money to the airport sure. for the, to for fill the up the fuel tank? Fill it up back first. And now we've got a check back in the amount of two thousand dollars. So it's whittled right on. And the rest to follow shortly. Yeah, that's one of the payments. Here. And and the airport is doing wonderful. I'm so proud of it. I go out there anytime I can visit, and I hope y'all do the same. They're very. Uh, uh, the only thing is, I don't want to go too often because David and Marty will quit whatever they're doing, and they will greet you and show you everything there. So. Uh, they're very friendly, so if you... Uh, uh, How much was that total that they were going to pay back if, if they had the chance to? 7500 7500 I remember Darren presenting that, and then I couldn't remember the... So we're, we're really proud of that. Thank you a lot, Marty. Uh, next, I want to ask the... Uh, Danny and Becky Pogue, Mr. Matthew, Justin Cooper. Why don't y'all come up here behind us? Come in. Keith, would you take a picture? How you going, buddy? How y'all doing? Good. Okay. Uh, Roddy Cowan and I, from our discretionary funds, have given you the full, uh, given the full amount that you asked for to high tech for the bunker gear. It's in two separate checks made out to them. 
but the two checks add up to the amount that you asked for. So there it is. I appreciate it. Becky smile. <laughs> that would have been a good shot. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, now then. Thank y'all very much. Don't really hang on to it. You got another one. Don't do a great job. Just this from there. Go out. Thank y'all. Next, uh, Chief Givens. He'll be wanting to borrow from you. I know how it goes. So. Chief Givens and whoever else you brought with me. Thank with you. Appreciate it. And the other Mr. Givens. I didn't know he was. Come over here behind me and Joe. This is fire department day. Yes, it's fire department day. And and I, I assure you that the others will all be here next time. Uh, and uh, here is a here's a check from both uh, Joe Barnes and myself, uh, totaling fifteen grand to go towards your uh, uh, equipment for the fire truck, the new fire truck. Yeah, we'll get it get it right there where we can actually do something with her now. Okay, smile. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I took several. Good deal. Did you smile? I don't. I guess I did. They got my good side. Joe. Hope I did. I just smelled about the beaver dam. I probably said. <laughs> Charlie took mine. I thought. Guys, I just like to say from both departments. Uh, I know this helps some, but our fire departments in the county, within a five-mile radius, really, really. They do a good job, but really brings our insurance down. Yes. And that makes a big difference in what we have to pay in. Absolutely. And, and you guys do a wonderful job. All of you volunteer firemen do. And I will say this. Uh, you're not just firefighters. You're also the first responders on any big emergency we have. If we were to, God forbid, have the earthquake or the bunch of tornadoes or something that some communities have had, you're the guys we call. So uh, we want to do anything we can to encourage the volunteer firemen to keep showing up at the departments. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And come back. You got anything to say, Joe? I appreciate everything they do. Do what, Dan? It's a, it's a selfish thing, you know, to uh, for people to ask you to go on there for free and not, not get anything in return. You're just doing it for the community. So. Yeah. So it's a it's it's a position is not thanked enough. So. Um, next, I handed all of you a copy of that uh, tourism contract that we was in closed session. You got yours. Yeah. And got that you was in uh, <coughs> right closed session about. We discussed, and Justin has prepared it to meet all the guidelines that uh, y'all requested during that uh, during that uh, meeting. Yeah. I think there was some indications made about possible litigation with respect to this deal. Uh, the disagreements that may have occurred or not occurred with respect to Ohio Fish Court and Ohio County Tourism about the $25,000. Uh, we wrote up a contract uh, between the two entities. Uh, it, is, uh, it can be terminated at any time by either, either entity. Um, but uh, something in writing was needed. Uh, so that we can show the agreement between everybody. So, do I have a motion to uh, approve this and, uh, and authorize me to sign the uh, agreement? So moved. Motion by Sam Small. So the only changes were section E and you added A, B, and C. Uh, page 3, I mean, uh, page section two. 3, uh, subsection E. Yeah. We had an ABC on there, which would give indication of priority of a payment. Right. And there's nothing else in this that would that would chump that section. No. And I mean, I I can go on record saying that, that that's how I read it. And I wrote it. So. Okay. And I think that's the understanding of tourism because I've talked to Jody about it too. Now here a second. Motion by Sam Small. I'll second. Second by Jason Bullock. Any further discussion? Now what? Uh, what is that going to cost the court here? Right now, you're only obligated uh, to twenty-five thousand. But we can cancel at any time, right? Mm -hmm. The contract is, it can be canceled at any time. My, my only consideration is, guys, we've got a tough budget. In fact, we just looked at a retirement increase of around three hundred thousand dollars. 
I'm going to be perfectly honest. I'm not going to vote for this tonight because we don't know what the budget's going to look like. We, we've already talked about cutting every department X amount of dollars. Uh, they absorb that particular retirement in their departments. And and I, unfortunately, I'll have to uh, vote no one because until I see a copy of the, the next, next fiscal year's budget. But now this that, is, that this is not pressing that much. How about we just table it until we get our... No, actually, we can't. The tourism needs that. Uh, we, we need it. Too. We put it off. Got their 25000 this year. I know, but we put them off and put them off, and they needed something in hand so they can assume management of that uh, museum. I'm like Larry, I can't vote for it until I see the... Uh, now this doesn't obligate the court the next budget to the next budget of twenty five thousand. It's just getting to it's see. It just lines it out on the the twenty five from now on. Yes, I mean if that's, actually if that's the, how you want it to be. I mean, and actually the twenty five thousand that they've already received and been spending. For two thousand seventeen. For two thousand seventeen. But but you can add that in if you want if, any, if you want clarification on yeah. that. Does this agree? But that's how I consider it. Yeah. Justin has to get 25 every year. It gets, it gets, it, this contract, one of the situations that you, this court has had to deal with in the past is there's been contracts written with other third parties which obligated you in some way that then caused concern with other courts. Uh, this would uh, allow this court or any other future court to terminate this contract and the obligation of paying any money for tourism for the running of uh, uh, the uh, Bluegrass Museum. Yeah, but it does commit by uh, us passing this on the uh, on the director. That does commit to twenty five thousand. Now I know we can change our mind at any given time, but this particular thing obligates us to commit us to twenty five thousand dollars. At least for this year. Let me. Well, it's already been put in there this year. But let me ask you this: Could we not just leave that where it says twenty five thousand? Leave it as amount depicted on the budget or amount shown on on the year's budget so then that way you know it's the contract's still good for whatever amounts put on the budget you can make any changes in what do you think about that larry well i just you know then, you there, won't, you then there won't be a then there won't be amount set in the in the contract but the whatever amount that is put on on the budget would automatically be Obligated by this contract. Yeah. The yeah, only thing concerns me is we. I think we're going to have to make some cuts, and and we talked well, about it earlier. I know exactly what and you're I saying. And I just don't want to be committed to. Uh, and I'm, I'm certainly not against it if the money's there, but I'm just not. I'm not going to commit to twenty-five thousand dollars a year in monies that we may or may not have, and we may have them once we do the budget and the judge and and works up the budget. We may be in. We may be in good shape, and I'm. I'm just voting on the possibility that we might not. Can you change that instead of the amount just the court approved? Could you do that? If that's what you wish, yes, sir. I'll per budget, would that work? Okay, uh, write that on uh, the official copy, Justin, that you're going to give in. Instead of it saying, just that leaving that, that figure. Instead of, yeah, yeah, but that allows them to have the contract to go ahead and operate. Yeah, yeah. it'd be the line item budgeted at on but you got budget approved by a physical court. Well, we do have to remember we're going to have to do something because we've got this building here and we're going to have to run it, but I understand what you're saying. Well, we can do we the figure. basic utilities. Well, <laughs> then you don't necessarily have to, every, every year you wouldn't have to cancel a contract just because there's an amount in there. If, it, if there's more that could be put in there, it can go up. If there's less to go in there, it can right. be less. Yeah. You know, we can't commit to something where we don't know we've got the money. We can't spend money we don't have. And in that way, you don't have to actually vote okay. to end the contract. <laughs> okay, with right. that, uh, that's okay with you, Sam, and, uh, and uh, Jason, to, to amend that? I'll amend my motion. Okay. okay. So the only amendment I'm doing is to that's the all. second page, 3, subsection E, removal of the 25000 and it's changing that to in an amount approved by the majority of the Ohio County Fiscal Court. Through as reflected budget. in the budget. Well, I mean, I before that says line item. Okay. 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 Roll call. Johnston. Yes. <coughs> yes. Morphew. Yes. Small. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Okay. That thank you. Um, to the point of road committee, it's actually road viewing committee, and uh, I'm going to point the same one that's out on two other roads, and. Uh, uh, need to get them done if we can by the next court meeting because at least some of them will be ready to take in. 
uh, off of Weedman Loop. We have 2.2228 mile. Uh, that's a two tenths of a mile. A new road called, we're going to call it John Boys Lane. And the purpose of this is so that Keith, the road department can get out there and maintain Weedman Loop. We can't maintain and drain Weedman Loop without taking this road in, so we'll have the, the right of way to work on it. How so, is the, load? the viewing committee is going to be Keith, Chase, and Mark. Same ones looking at the other two. Point two miles? Point two, point two miles. Two point tenths. Two, two. So, how do you have to well, this road to maintain Weedman Loop? Because Weedman Loop just runs right off, I guess, the, the drainage off the Weedman yeah. Loop. Yeah, we is would it off to the left if you're coming yeah. from the. So the drainage on Weedman Loop runs down the ditch that goes yeah. down this private drive. Yeah. Well, private road. It's it, it dead ends back there. It's like yeah. there are four homes or so. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> and this is the only solution we come up to take care of the draining on Weedman. So they are pulling it. Uh, no, Brent, uh, uh, and give me the truck more. bid. The next on the item is opening the truck bid. Well, you knew better than trust me with that. Here you go. Joe, would you open the bid? Sure. And read it to the court. As well as read the specs when you do open. And we only had one. <coughs> it's for a 2018 Ram 2500 crew cab 4x4 four four, short wheelbase um, is what it says but a short bed. It's a long cab. It's the crew cab, so yep. it's the four door. Uh, $31,703. That's a little more than we've been get paying for them, but this thing we put up a three quarter ton. The other's been half tons. Right. Where's that from? And we got a couple. More it's Ford's. from Moore. I'm sorry, I should have said that first. Moore Ford. Um, yeah, and the whole reason we was doing that is when we move these to other departments, the three-quarter tons are more usable for snow plows, and uh, it's already set up that way. So, you know, if you if you bought a half ton and then you had to try to equip it, it would cost more than that probably. Plus, you would have a half ton with snow plow, and that wouldn't work. And uh, this way, it's already equipped. It's still not bad price. Is it? No, government no. gets a heck of a discount. Yeah. I love to get one at that price. Of course, it is a Dodge, but I mean, yeah, that's a little humor there. Guys. Yeah. Well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I felt the same way you do five years ago, but since the county dealt with Fords and Dodges and, and other things that we did, internationals, uh, Dodge pretty darn good. I'm just picking it. I know. The, um, now, the only thing is, is, you know, we wanted to go ahead and do the beds through the, as far as the finance committee, but the finance committee hadn't met and actually where to pull all the money from. So. Well, we're just going to open this and read it tonight, Yeah. and we'll look at accepting it at a meeting at a later date, okay? I think we left this where it was uh, 90 days, 90 days. Yeah. so it would give us a chance. We wanted to go ahead and move forward with it so we could get the bids, right. and then let's let him take it and make you a copy of it. Okay. Will you get okay. your copy of it? Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here, put it, put it in that one. She might get upset. I know, I'm just kidding. Larry, what'd you get her in such a bad mood for? Larry's picked him up for me. I may have started it, Joe, but you, you, I'm going to try to work on see if I can't get a little bit of a before Based on the way she just looked at you, I don't you, know. You challenged her, uh, her, uh, man. man. Oh, I'm, I'm very sorry. I'll be, I'm deeply sorry. We're ready for committee reports. Uh, I don't know if any others have met. I know Jason has met at least twice with the uh, animal control. We've met, uh, we've met every Wednesday since we're actually, we were going to make some decisions last Wednesday and we have some situations come up with some employees that has kind of changed things and there was another ideal thrown our way about, about some issues and some ways we can run the shelter and they are actually going to come and we're going to meet again 
tomorrow with the Henderson Humane Society and a representation, a rep representative from uh, maybe, I think it's Davis County Humane Society at 3.30 tomorrow, so we're going to meet with them again. So if anybody's available, we're meeting in this room at 3.30 tomorrow to talk about our animal shelter. Okay. Uh, any other committee reports? Oh, the the committee, the uh, wage committee hadn't had met on the last right. topic that we talked about in right. the court, but uh, I'd like to schedule a meeting for the last meeting in April, which is the, the 24th, okay. uh, because I believe Justin is going to look into some legal issues on that, and then that gives him plenty of time to get back with us. And this is where we're talking about setting so, the elected officials' salaries, which has to be done every four years? Right, and the biggest thing was we wanted to make sure that we didn't exclude the jailer if we did or did not. We wanted to make sure that we didn't end up in the issue that the county ended up in the prior years. So the, on April the 24th at 4 o'clock that would work. Good deal. Was the, it the, Sam, you're on that committee, I can ask you right now. Does that work with your work schedule as far as you know? 4 p.m.? Yeah. Yeah. Um, just for the record. time to change if we need to. Just for the record, if anybody's listening, uh, anybody interested, uh, the uh, judge executive, the sheriff, the county clerk, and the jailer, if you have a full service jail, are all set by the uh, legislature. Uh, and in the last several years, they've always given the increase of the CPI. Uh, so that's the way it's always been done. And this year was the most it's been in a while. Uh, so uh, our uh, committee's got to look at and see if we're going to do that for all the other elected officials or not which would include the, the jailer, the coroner, the um, county, attorney. county attorney, the magistrates, and uh, who else am I leaving out? That, the other ones are all taken care the of. The others are all taken care of. We get to vote on our own grades. Yeah, you do, every four years. <laughs> uh, next thing I have is sort of under committee, <laughs> but not exactly. I've talked to, to some of you with about. J Gentlemen, yes. we have an emergency situation on the road. It's called Hoopy Hill. Uh, this bad wind and the flooding put together has caused us to have to have a blacktop road. Basically, went back to a, I mean, a good blacktop road went back to being a uh, mud road. We, we put some gravel on it, and basically, it totally has ruined. We must fix it. Uh, we will try to retrieve our money two ways. One is through the state's emergency fund, which if it's an emergency, you can't wait for people to do it. You've got to do it because it was an emergency. Then the other idea is we're looking through getting some FEMA funds in that maybe we can use them for this project. But with that said, hear my motion. Joe, you help me. Uh, we want to accept the bid of Asphalt Services Incorporated for $131,250 for uh, Hoopy Hill Road, a length of, of uh, 10,000 feet and 17 foot wide and two inches thick with the, with the uh, weight ticket turned in toward it. And this, this 131250 is a, not to exceed so that means if it's less tons, it would be less money. But it, it, uh, uh, but we have to have the weight tickets to bring it up to that. That's sec You get that, Ann? Yes. Now, where's, where's these particular monies coming from? Well, we hope it comes from the emergency fund from the state, but of but us. the road department emergency fund. Well, well, we've, to be all, we've all got road problems like that, and I've been out on some blacktops today. Uh, it well, is, uh, now the complete road's not gone, but yeah. Well, we're fixing to do a half a million dollars on various roads right now, starting next week. Now you you said it would have the tons, yes, and the measurements. Well, yeah, the measurements is up here, but we would have a, a running measurement, yes. Okay. So with A, the point A and B, you said. So the, to do this, 
you would you have to do it this way to be able to file for the emergency fund yes. from the you have to complete it and then send them the bill. What if A B no? If they be no, we try from the from the uh, FEMA, and if they and if not, it comes from our county road emergency fund that we've got set up just for this particular thing. And how much is in that emergency fund? One fifty something. One seventy five. One seventy five. Well, it is in bad shape, and the reason I would consider doing it is, you know, so we can apply through the the emergency funds through the governor. I don't really like to, you know, to take the leap of faith that we will get that or not, but at the same time it, it is in bad shape. You did second it. Well, it's a danger. Uh, it, it is truly dangerous. Not in second. I'll second it for discussion. It's second. Motion is second. Joe second. It, it truly is dangerous. I made the motion in second. Uh, you know, it's been getting worse. Uh, I've said both motions. Simple fact it is that it's in one and three. Days of Equally in one. Hard freeze we had destroyed it, and uh, something's got to be done. I mean, I do it for those anybody. are two other options. So two miles long. See, that's why I need the measurements. Because is it? Are we doing it? Is this a measurement? Yes, ten thousand feet. So almost two miles. Two miles long. Well, near almost. Us. Yeah. Donald's here. Donald, I'm going to write down under here. You didn't write the link on that last one, but you told me. So I'm going to write that down here that that's 10,000 as well. 1.9. Yeah. But this doesn't affect the flex funds at all? No. With this done, flex funds is wide open. I'm going to let every one of you participate and nominate me something for it. Had not been, this would have been the top, but we can't wait for it on this one. Well, my concern is, and my comment on it is, that you're taking one road and using up the bulk of the uh, reserve money in the road department. And, uh, but now, that's, this is not just Joe's problem. This is a problem throughout the county. And uh, I just, I'm not, I'm not certainly not going to support it when one particular road is going to get three-fourths of the emergency road money. Well, hopefully we'll get it back. Well, I do too. I do too. I and I'm, I assure you, I'm going to try everywhere I can. Davis Roads? But yes. On Davis Roads. We've got Davis and we got uh, uh, Lewis Lane. Uh, and compared to those, because I didn't look at those back when y'all did it this way. But Your roads are worse shape than Davis Roads. I'm just, in my, in my opinion, much worse. worse. So, I mean, this, uh, under, that, under that perception, we should get the money back unless the states mm -hmm. use their than money Lane probably was on too. other. Yeah, and and if we if this motion passed, can and, you, you and be the only sure way that, we can apply for that money is if we do it first. Right, you be sure you help get that application in if we if this motion passes. We we really need the tons. Oh, well, I told this, him to this, apply. When will this Donald? Be done? Do you have the tons on how much that would be uh, yeah, for the? Do the whole thing. If you do the whole thing, though, one thirty. Write that down. What'd you say? Eighteen hundred fifty-nine. Are we looking at other roads or just this one in the... Uh, and that's, that works out the same price as what you bid per ton. Okay. Are we looking at other roads or is this the only road we're looking at as far as emergency? Let's look at it on this. No, no, I'm, I'm, I know that. I'm, I'm just I'm asking the judge if he's looked at other roads. That yes. We've got other roads as bad too, but this is the worst one I've seen. This is the worst one we have ago. for sure, where people live. I went out two weeks ago and it wasn't coming yeah. far. Yeah, Larry's, Larry's got a gravel one or two that's worse than this, yeah. but there are no paved roads in the county or chip and seal roads worse than this one. We're talking about a lot of houses. It's almost impassable. We've had so much water. And that's low down through there. We have cold spells. And then warm up and get water and cold spells, that's what paved roads. Yeah. Yeah, the whole county's in that situation. And Salem Road is horrible. I mean, horrible. I, I've driven it, and, and it needs attention too, but it's not as bad as this. And it can certainly go on the flex side with this taken care my of. My question to the court is, where, how much money can be obtained through the emergency fund through the state to see if we can get funds for this? You turn in a road, and if you get it, you immediately turn in another one. But you do. Well, we need to be turning Salem Road in, getting a look at it and getting this. Well, we'll see if we got enough advance. If we get this one, we can for sure. But I believe that one will wait till flex if he gets up and uh, potato patches it real good. 
it can wait till the flex fund comes through. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and call for a vote on this thing. Johnston? Yes. Ham? No. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes, with the understanding that it, we have to turn it in this way to get the this money back from the state on emergencies. Okay. And it allows us to recoup money a different way. Uh, I'm going to get with you, Donald, and write these little deals on our contract now, right. sign. Okay? That'd be fine. I, just so, so y'all know, I will have to transfer that money from the emergency fund because I'm sure, unless you're going to want to wait for your money. No, he's not going to want to do that. So, on the next uh, court meeting, you'll see that transfer out of the emergency fund into the regular fund to be able to pay okay. Days doing this anyway. uh, if there's no other committee reports, let's move on to magistrates. When Sam, you do it, uh, uh, Donald. Uh, depends on the weather. It's going to dry up. Um, I know. We start on pretty quick. Plants go we'll like to make quick weather for that. Uh, Monday, <laughs> Monday the plant opens. Yeah, it's supposed to be raining yeah. all weekend, so that's going to make up. a difference. Uh, Sam, uh, I don't have <laughs> nothing good. I do appreciate. Everybody uh, taking into consideration this road, it, it is half mine, and uh, it is in dire straits. And uh, I do appreciate all the magistrates taking it in, and, and uh, I appreciate it. Okay. Uh, Jason. Uh, John. Uh, yeah, i got a couple things. First of all, as soon as we get that money back on this one, if there is some other roads that need to be addressed on emergency thing I say we need to be turning them in because the flex funds Larry what's the it hadn't been getting the flex paving hadn't been getting done until about late October late. November in it well last year it was September but well I think they, October, I think they November. finished up some of my flex in November or something I mean, take a difference when it's turned in we won't do it like two that's, meetings out. We will make it done. So every one of you can talk about what you want to do with yeah, it. Yeah, I'd like to get that turned in as soon as possible. But, but Salem Road was definitely one of the ones I wanted to put on there from the 5th District. And then the, the other thing is, uh, and I didn't get a chance to talk to you about it, Keith, but since Justin's here, it'd be a good time to... The road that I brought up to you about being flooded out, if it goes back, it's uh, it's back there in the, the mines ground, but it does access that cemetery. And the, what I looked through, I drove through about a foot and a half, two feet of deep water to get through it. But it's backed up from the state that roads is. that go that services all the lakes. It's in the state fish and wildlife area. So I, I didn't know if we had to do any kind of special thing to be able to go and open those those drainage areas because there's a tile underneath one of their roads. It's in the fish and wildlife area that evidently has been clogged by beavers or something that's backed everything up and it's flooded out my road. Good. Um, we I have the right to go on that property God, to bring you know, sure. back to mm -hmm. Yeah, we've, we've had that issue the last three or two years. <coughs> you just and need to get so notice to the state. Can we take care of it? Let them know. Okay. I've just been running everywhere. Well, we had talked about it, but it, actually until then with that road being flooded, if someone comes through there at night, we probably ought to close it because it's, it's uh, okay. deep enough that if someone it's tried to do it, no, it just goes and you have to turn around. If you got a barricade to close it with, got something closed. Okay, good deal. Um, anything else? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, I almost forgot. This would have been bad. The road department has two. Uh, one status change and one new hire for the road department. Uh, by the way, we've had uh, the one that we hired as mechanic the last time did not choose to accept the job. So we uh, are going to change the status and move Steve Everly up to mechanic. He's been filling in for quite some time, as y'all know. Uh, and we're going to do him at the same rate of pay we did the other mechanic. And uh, this effective date will be 325 18. Steve Everly, roll call. Johnston? Yes. Ham? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Now this is, how much is it for? 18. 18? Mm -hmm. uh, that was part of, a, of the incentive program that I submitted to the, to the court. 
I voted no last time. Steve does a wonderful job, and I'm not dis, you know, disagreeing about the pay, but at the same time, we didn't bring that whole program in, and so I'm going to have to be a no again tonight on that. Okay. You already took him, so back up and put his no. You done? Okay. Uh, okay. Another next one we have we bring up is Matthew Quisenberry is heavy, heavy equipment operator. Uh, at 1429 per hour, beginning uh, April the 1st, 2018, uh, he will be a heavy equipment operator. And if any of you don't know who that is, Matthew Quisenberry, if any of you know him, you know him as Jed. He's a really nice young man, and I'm excited to bring him into our organization. So, roll call. Johnston? Yes. Pam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? <coughs> yes. Yes. Would you hear these down there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Word to you, Larry. You got any comments or questions? Larry Morphew. Yeah, I, um, roads definitely need to be fixed. Mm -hmm. When we come to reflex money, I hope I get my fair share this year because I didn't get any last year. Well, and we're working on the budget, and there's some things I will not vote for cut to senior services. The fire and police or the ambulances and I will not be paying taxes. Uh, that said, uh, there's no other business to bring for this body. I move to adjourn. This meeting, move, this meeting is adjourned. See you guys in two weeks.